What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna be going over a beginner's build guide that will get you all the way towards the nether realm, which is like the end game map system for Torchlight Infinite. So I'm going to start it off with some brief little gameplay, then I'll explain everything because it's very important that you pay attention to how Erica works, because she's a little bit different and there's gonna be things that if you don't know, you're gonna lose out on a lot of DPS. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll go ahead and open just a really low tier map just so we can just show off like kind of how the gameplay works. We'll just do like a quick little 60 here and uh, this way you guys can understand how it works the thing that i want you to pay attention to is what i have bound to the b button so how erica works is you're going to be able to get multi-strike stacks and getting these extra stacks give us basically extra damage and um it's going to be great so what we're going to do is when we move uh this will start to build up but you'll notice if i don't move enough it's going to reset itself so i want to basically blink get max stacks attack 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 and then once it drops i'm going to then blink again refilling all of my stacks and basically because blinks on like a one point something second cooldown uh with all of our uh, uh, support gems here it's going to be at basically we're gonna have this up at all times so let's go ahead and hop in and i'll explain how the build works because while i was doing the campaign a few of you guys asked me for my like build so what we're gonna do is basically go into the group activate our buffs just do a couple spins and then move and do more spins we can go and kill this elite real quick and he's gone there we go sometimes we just need that crit to proc and this build is all about crit and you'll notice some of the numbers are going to be really high and that's because uh we will ignore the armor on crit and that's what we're basically scaling so teleport in make sure we have our stacks up do a couple spins and then move on to the next group and kind of do the same thing again and again you can see the build is very good at clearing things now for obviously elites and bosses you're not going to like one shot those but for the most part we do like two or three spins and we move on and uh let's go ahead and go up I think you guys get the idea kind of how the build plays. Very good AoE, and it's good for boss clear as well. Because of the large AoE, sometimes when the boss moves, you can sit there in one spot and then just blink when the boss actually moves. So here's like an elite over here. Get this guy down. Make sure we keep up all of our stacks, as that's how we get our damage. I'm going to go ahead and go back into town now that you guys get the idea that you really want to keep these stacks up. And I'll go ahead and explain the hero trait on Erica as it does need some explanation. And I'll go in depth on more things. So this is the exact same build that I used while I was completing the campaign. A lot of you guys asked, you know, what uh, abilities are good for uh, starting out as Erica because she's the brand new cat girl. A lot of people want to play her. But this is exactly what I used to eliminate the Rusted Sun and Ordak. We killed it relatively quick. There's certain phases where like you can't do damage. But yeah, we eliminated the boss with this exact build. And early on on the new like map mechanic here is like an early uh, gameplay of it and the reason why i like this build is because it's very good at clearing out things you can see i'm gonna go ahead and make it bigger so you guys can see you can see after we clear out the first wave when the second wave comes i mean basically everything is almost here there's like one enemy that uh, was a little bit of a straggler but you get the idea it clears it out very fast and on the chest mechanic when we complete six of the new black sail mechanics here is like the gameplay on the earlier uh void sea slayers you can see like we're deleting the content really fast just really good dps and again it has good clear on some of these smaller monsters and then we go ahead and open up our uh, big chest reward the tentacle chest and we get our reward but yeah uh so going into the build and what i've actually uh, opted to go ahead and play for so starting right off uh you're gonna actually start off uh with thunder slash which is the uh ability that you get earlier on but once you hit level seven you can get berserking blade so um Thunder Slash and Hammer of Ash are two other fantastic skills uh, with Erica, and you want to make sure you have an attack that can be uh, used with multi strike because that's what Erica is based off of. And I have to go into the hero traits, but how I played the character is I played with Thunder Slash, got level seven, got Berserking Blade, used this all the way throughout the end game, and then I kind of like Hammer of Ash. I'm gonna go ahead and equip it so you guys can see what this skill looks like, and basically. It's a slam attack. Let's go and get our multi-strike so it attacks even faster. And then it has this little like wind up where we get to have these projectiles that explode and we can have like overlaps. It's quite nice. I think Hammer of Ash overall is going to be more effective for DPS up until we have enough crit to ignore armor completely. So starting right off, I want to go over the Erica hero trait because this is very important. So Erica is based off of bolt eye striking. I'll move my face out of the way and I'll kind of explain how it works. So how multi-strike works is it performs an additional attack at a faster rate. Now with Erica, we also have 
this uh, stacks of cat's agility, which will give us extra movement speed and 200% of the increase uh, slash decrease in movement speed is also applied to attack damage. And on top of that, we have multi-strike uh, dealing extra additional damage with each strike. And so we're just gonna stack as much strikes as possible so we can get as much damage stacking as possible. Then when multi-strike ends, we lose our cat's agility. But as far as the build goes, this is what I opt in for. I went for hot pursuit, have fun, cat punches and cat walk. So have fun makes us grant ourselves extra attack speed for every one per, uh, one meter of movement made recently during multi-strike. And then we're gonna have cat's punches, which gives us extra stalker uh, stacks plus one. And each multi-strike deals 10% more damage for each stack of stalker that we have. We're gonna keep that up basically at 100% uptime. And then we have cat walk, which makes it so um, after our multi-strike uh, ends, we no longer lose this lose stalker after it ends and it lasts for three seconds so it's really nice that's how we keep it up 100 percent of the time because that was a frequently asked question these are newer items they give us extra stats you'll get this more towards the end of the game uh once you start getting towards like the maps and like the league mechanic uh, starting when they kind of drop but multi-strike trance is what i'm kind of shooting for because that's what the character is based on this one i wanted more movement speed because movement speed is quite good for this character as well because uh, she's a fast cat, right? So in terms of her skills, what we're running here, let me go and show you the uh, skills. So again, I started off with Thunder Slash, moved into the Berserky Blade, then Hammer of Ash. And later down the line, you can actually use ranged attacks. And I actually want to make a ranged build with Erica. I have some uh, earlier gameplay. I was testing it out. I'm just going to give you guys a sneak preview at what's to come here. So because multi-strike works with bows it doesn't well it's, it works with any attack that can be multi-strike there are certain abilities that you can't use it like any channel ability i mean this was fantastic i really really liked it you can see i think this is the the league mechanic over here and i love playing with controller um it, it, using ranged abilities it will auto target things off screen so i'm really enjoying using um this is like a brief introduction to range i haven't even swapped any of my skills here which will give us way more dps but we're going to mainly focus in on melee because uh, that's kind of how uh, Erica is played at least at the start uh, because you won't be able to get your uh, split arrow up until level 55 so again uh, choose the skill that you want it's up to you and what you want to play but this is what I opted for okay so starting right off uh, you'll get Berserking Blade earlier on and you could play Berserking Blade throughout the entirety of the gameplay I've seen a lot of streamers that also play lots of other games they're using Berserking Blade it's kind of like I would say kind of the fan favorite at the moment because it clears really good and you don't even have to aim because it's a giant circle right so it's great for clearing out things very fast. So here's what I'm running. You want multi-strike, it's Erica. Multi-strike is gonna be in every single build. So uh, I like multi-strike, I like hardened as well. This gives us extra survivability. If you played PoE, it's kind of like fortify, it's great for that. And then I'm running precision strike, so it's less AoE, but more damage. And then we're running attack focus to get extra crit and more damage. So precision strike's the one I would say, you can kind of swap in and out, choose the one that you like. You want maybe more AoE, that's fine. But I feel like the AoE was sufficient enough to run precision strike because it gives us the most numbers uh damage you also notice multi-strike doesn't give you number dps so um even though it doesn't give you number dps it attacks more times if that makes any sense so even though if i go ahead and move multi-strike it doesn't really change the amount of damage that we get but it's actually significant because it may not factor in the stacks because we don't have them we're in the menu here so keep that in mind with the, these dps numbers the better way to test dps is going up into the um little uh test dummy that they have in the game um so i'm running uh berserking blade those are the ones that i uh I'm running for support gems, then I'm running Blink with quick mobility, then I'm running Charging Warcry with cooldown reduction, Bullseye with cooldown reduction, extended duration, Bloodthirst, Bloodbath. These are all just damage buffs, just extra. Uh, this one gives us uh, like uh, melee attack speed, uh, and then this one over here gives us um, melee damage and also gives us melee skill radius, and then Bloodthirst is just more attack speed and movement speed. So basically, all a bunch of buffs. You'll notice we have no healing because uh, I don't need it. Uh, so we're running Steadfast over here. This gives us extra armor. Then we're running Rejuvenation, so we regen. That way, I don't need to even bother with potion. And then we're running Fearless, which uh, gives us extra crit rating and melee crit strike damage. And then there's also melee strike uh, skill radius, so it makes things larger. So that's what I'm running for my skills. Now, in terms of the uh, talents over 
over here, this is one I'm running from Talents. So I have to explain this because it's very important that you realize that this is a build and progression uh, as we are uh, going to be eventually getting certain things and it's going to be very powerful when we finish our build. So here's what we're running. I'll move my face out of the way. We're running God of War. I'm running uh, Cohesion or Brutality. It depends if you're just running Physical, Brutality is the best. But if we're running Hammer of Ash, which converts 50% of Physical to Fire, then we would want Cohesion or Determined. It's up to you what you want. The thing that's important with uh, the God of War one, it really comes down to this final note, Instant Smash. It's so incredibly good. This makes it so our crit strikes, which we're scaling crit, ignores armor completely. <laughs> like you have some penetration of like certain like elements, but like to ignore armor completely, phenomenal. So uh, that's why I'm even spiking into this at all. I'll go over this. There's nothing really important here to mention that you really need to like prioritize other than you want to get chance to multi-strike and getting some bleed chance is actually going to be something that we'll spec into later, uh, but it also gives us extra physical damage right now. So I opt in to go ahead and grab it, but um, that is something that you will still have to have something that has base bleed. That's important. It's not important right now until we uh, max out our Shadow Dancer and Ranger, which I'll explain. So with Ranger, what we want to go ahead and do is we're eventually going to get keep it up uh, later down the line, which will give us extra crit. But what we actually uh, want in the very beginning, it doesn't really matter. We can get gravity, fluke if we want to. If we're doing lightning, fluke is phenomenal. If you're going to do thunder uh, slash, uh, I would recommend going for this one because um, this one makes it so... Um, uh, you have Lucky, which makes it so the attack rolls twice. How lightning damage works in a lot of action RPGs, including Torchlight, is it goes really low to really high numbers. And so uh, Lucky would be excellent for that because you get the same... Uh, you get it to roll twice as long as you have 50% fervor rating, which is going to be 100% uptime. And I'll show you guys how we do that. So we go Shadow Dancer and we're going to be getting Ambition. So you want to get Ambition because it grants you 10 fervor points of uh, when you hit an elite or when there's nearby enemies. It's really easy. You'll have 100% stacks. I'll show you really quick. If I go to the test dummy over here. Nobody can select the we can activate our buffs. And you'll see at the top, this is the fervor rating over here. That will be the thing that you actually want. But uh, we'll go ahead and go back into the talents now. So the, just, just to show you that you can keep it up 100% of the time. So we're going to have this up 100% of the time. Now, what we actually want to do is we want to get open wounds. Why do we want open wounds? Well, it gives us additional bleed damage. Again, you're going to have to have a weapon that has any amount of bleed damage base bleed it can be one bleed damage it doesn't matter i don't care about the bleed damage at all what i want is this 100 crit strike damage against bleeding enemies this is absolutely massive if we look at most of the numerical numbers in this entire game for any any sort of stat there's a lot of ones where it'll be like 20 to 35 percent damage usually the 35 or higher in damage uh these numbers here even like uh going into god of war uh with this this is 35 additional damage most of them are 20 percent free damage or if you want to go higher they have some sort of negative effect right um some of the negative effects may not apply to you but uh getting 100 <laughs> and uh 25 is massive so all i want to do is basically i want it for the 125 crit multi it's just too big to go ahead and skip out on so this is why we want open wounds so what we're going to do is we're going to get open wounds that's going to make it so we have 125 additional bonus crit strike damage and on top of that, we're going to ignore the armor completely uh, with God of War on the... Uh, we already have this node over here because you get 20 for the first one. And then uh, with Ranger over here, um, there's nothing too spectacular towards the very end. You can get, make it so you get like Culling Strike, which is eliminating an enemy under 8% life. But I'm speaking to that now. Uh, Shadow Dancer, we'll get this one. Uh, eventually, we'll get both. And uh, yeah, it's going to be awesome. Uh, I think that this will be a very fantastic build uh, towards Varian. You don't have to get this one. Uh, keep it up. I would say I want to rush uh, this one next, uh, the, the bleed. Uh, 125 crit multi is great. And then at the very end, if you want to, you can go for the keep it up. It's just extra base crit strike uh, per fervor rating. And we're going to have this up at 100% time. So yeah, that's, that's as far as the build goes, um, what I've opted for. This one, I guess you can go for fluke. Uh, we don't really care about shooting uh, arrows unless you want to go for the other build, which I briefly mentioned. Like, I, I do plan to make more builds with Erica because you can multi strike off of uh, having uh, any attack. Uh, but let me go ahead and go into the boons. Um, I feel like boons might be kind of dependent on what you get or the, uh, the pack spirits, right? 
So let's go ahead and go into the packs. So this is what I'm running. Um, this one doesn't matter. It just gives us plus two skills. Um, it's just because it was a, a legendary that I got. Uh, but it's like it's for like serving. It doesn't even give us anything for our character. But I just got the these notes give us extra resistance. We have extra at, uh, attack damage, extra crit strike rating. Um, but nothing too special here. That's like you need to have this for your build. In terms of our itemization, what we're looking forward to getting is extra physical damage. And there's nothing too important with this build. You can see most of these pieces of gear, they could easily be replaced. Nothing special. Feel free to go ahead and pause it if you want to. The only important thing that I like to get, if I can get it on my pieces of gear, is getting movement speed because that makes the game feel a lot better. So this is what I'm running. And uh, mana shouldn't be too much of a problem, but I did get some mana nodes over on my pack spirits. But um, that should pretty much wrap it up in terms of what we have actually gone for. We went over yeah, the talents and uh, this is how I built my Erica. But again, it's very important that you don't move when multi-strike is working. So this is something very important. This is something that I've noticed a lot of people messing up on. So let me explain multi-strike. So if I hit the attack button one time, which is X, you'll see that it does the attack multiple times, right? That's multi-strike. Now, if I attack and move, it's not going to complete the multi-strike. You also want to make sure that you're keeping these stacks up. So I'm, I'm doing this basically, and I could sit here and I don't want to move when I attack. I wait for this buff to go all the way down. Uh, once we're at like lower than three stacks, I can just move and we're back at three stacks. Since I have the extra cooldown, I can pretty much keep it up as soon as it drops to zero. You can see the duration, wait till it gets to zero, bam, I'm moving again. And that's how I keep my stacks up at 100% uptime. And then I'm just casting all of my abilities, all of my buffs consistently, and that's basically how the gameplay works. But hopefully this guide was thorough enough and this will get you guys all the way to the nether realm. It'll give you guys the full uh, completion of the campaign really easy. My entire campaign was super, super smooth with this build. So hopefully this answers your question of like, you know, what build did you play during the campaign and what build did I recommend? Again, um, it's kind of up to you what ability you want to play, but this is very important. Make sure the skill that you put in can use multi-strike. If you can't use multi-strike with a skill, well, that kind of defeats the purpose of playing Erica because that's how her hero traits work because it's all based around these multi-strikes. Uh, but uh, anyways, thanks for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. And one really other important thing is drops are indeed enabled. So if you guys want to uh, go ahead and get some Twitch drops, you can stop by the stream when I'm streaming and you'll be uh, getting those Twitch drops. Uh, the important thing with it is really the insight crystal at 40 minutes. But that is the other important thing to mention. And if you guys want to download Torchlight and somehow you watched this video and, and wanted to go ahead and uh, download the game, I am working with them. So big shout outs to Torchlight for sponsoring this video. Um, you guys can go ahead and download it uh, down below if you guys haven't downloaded it already. But uh, anyways, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you on the next video. Take care and I'm out. Peace.